Welcome to this video where I'll demonstrate the installation of the software for the ZLK 38AVS2 kit. We'll first start by downloading the Raspberry Pi image from the MicroSemi GitHub page. So on the GitHub page, there's a link here where you can download the SD image. I've already downloaded it, so we don't need to do that again here. Next, we use Etcher to burn the software. So you can download the Etcher software from etcher.io. And once you've downloaded Etcher, we can select the image that you've downloaded. So here it's the Raspbian ZLK 38 ABS version 2. Then you want to select the drive where you've put the SD card into your computer. In my case, it's this one here. And there should also be the 31 or 32 gig drive. Make sure you choose the right drive because it will erase everything on it. And then we will flash the image to the drive. It does take some time to do the flashing, so while that's going on, I'd suggest if you don't already have a VNC program to download real VNC onto your computer. You will also need the Bonjour print services from Apple in order to connect correctly to your Raspberry Pi. So we'll now let this finish its uh, flashing of the SD card. And once that's done, we'll insert it into the ABS kit, into the Raspberry Pi of the ABS kit. So now that it's finished, I've removed it from my computer and we'll insert it into the Raspberry Pi. And now that we've inserted it into the Raspberry Pi, we'll power up the Raspberry Pi. And then we will, once it's fully powered up, which it looks like it is, we will open up our VNC viewer. And what we'll do is we will go to the host name of the Raspberry Pi, which is microsemi-abs.local. and it will come up with an authentication window. So the username should be set to uh, pi, and the password is microsemi1. And you can click remember password if you'd like. Now we've connected to the Raspberry Pi, open up a terminal window, and change in to the ZLK38 AVS directory and we want to run a make abs config. So the first thing this is going to do is ask for your product ID. In order to get a product ID, you will need to register a product on the Amazon website. There is a link from the wiki right here to the developer's account, and you can follow that through on how to create an account. So I'll log into my account here navigate over to where my ABS device is. So the first thing it asks for is the product ID. So I'm copying that here. And then over here I'm doing an edit, paste. Now it asks for the client ID.
client secret. So now it's asking you to open up your web browser right here. So we open up our web browser and you need to go to http colon slash slash localhost 3000. ask you to log in again. If you've already logged in with the Raspberry Pi, it won't post you to do this. So this is just associating the ID with the actual device. So now it says you can close this window. And do you want to auto boot? I'm going to say no. Um, normally you might want to say yes, so when you power it up, it automatically boots up. And now we're done. So now we can actually run it. By running a make. Make start Alexa. So here you can see it is connecting, and then it connected, and it gives you a number of options. However, it should be up and running now, so let's first turn on the speaker here. So my speaker is on, so if everything's working, I should be able to uh, test it out. Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.44 a.m. So you'll notice that when I said her name, the green light came on to notify that uh, she'd heard me, and then I was able to ask my question. As I mentioned in the previous video, in a future release, the LED ring will uh, light up. Alexa, who are you? I'm Alexa and I'm designed around your voice. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.